Hey, hey, welcome back to Pianist Academy. This is the second video in a series about bench position, posture, and hand shape as we approach playing the piano. Remember, like I said last time, each of these videos is a very in-depth look at just one particular aspect of these topics. Today, we're talking about something that I call the knee test. So let's jump in. What is the knee test? Well, simply, if we're sitting on the bench, at the front of the bench, like we established in the last video, and now let's not put our right foot on the damper pedal, but rather at a 90 degree angle to the floor. So we have a 90 degree bend in the knee here. I should be able to sit up straight. And if I'm in the right position, I should be able to lift my knee without leaning backwards, just from a straight, good vertical posture. I should be able to lift my knee up and have it just clear the front of the piano here. It might nick it or graze it, and that's great. We want it to be as close to touching the piano as possible, but still be able to lift the knee up. Now, if our leg is this far away from the front of the piano, it's most likely that our arms are now the correct distance from the keys as well. Our bodies are built somewhat proportionally, so this will definitely get you into the right ballpark to start with. And there's a little bit of wiggle room from here. You can always scoot in a little bit. You could scoot out a little bit, depending on what's comfortable, if you have very short arms, very long arms, etc. Now, this video is really in response to what I see a lot of beginner students doing, and that is coming into lessons sitting very far over the keys, legs way under the keyboard, and in a position that's kind of like this. Now, granted, this is very comfortable. I won't deny that. But there's one particular really large problem. The elbows cannot cross the body. If we do need to cross the body, we end up having to make this angle with the hand and with the arm for the right hand and for the left hand if we need to cross the body. Students that sometimes they figure this out, then they start to lean back to make the hands cross the body. Well, that takes out the complete uh, core engagement and we can't, we don't have any leverage in playing the piano anymore. And lastly, sometimes students find out, well, my hands need to stay at like an, at a 90 degree angle to the keys, right? Just like they are in this neutral position, they need to stay like this. And so sometimes you see students come and they lean and then we get this really uncomfortable and not healthy shape where the arm is at an angle and then the wrist is turned to play the keys so that the hand stays in the correct orientation. This is all fixed if we pass the knee test and sit the correct distance from the keyboard. All of a sudden, all of this stuff, I can more freely lean, I can move the elbow in so that if I'm playing in a different position, now there's much less bend. What was a bend like this before is now only like this. And I'm not leaning back to make it happen. I'm just sitting with good posture. The elbow has plenty of space to clear in front of the body in both directions. That's really the point of being this far away from the keyboard. Now, if you are someone that has been playing this close and kind of with the nose over the keys, this is very, very comfortable, like I mentioned, and it's not activating muscles in the shoulder and in the back. So don't try to jump all the way back to this position right away. This position is almost gonna feel like to you, like if you had to hold your arm out in front of you for a long period of time, for as long as you're practicing. Now, while playing the piano isn't quite as difficult as holding your arm out like this, we use very similar muscles to keep the arms engaged when we're sitting this distance from the keys. If you haven't been working those muscles, they're gonna get very sore very quickly. They're gonna make playing the piano not fun at all. So if you are someone that sits very close and you can't pass this knee test yet, and we have trouble getting the elbows across the body, move a little at a time back to the correct position. So if we have to move four inches, let's say, start by one day moving one inch, just a little bit. Feel what that new position feels like and sit there. Remember where that is, sit there for a few weeks, maybe a month, until it is so comfortable that you have forgotten that you even moved in the first place. When that happens, move back another inch. Go through the process again. Okay, and now we can again get comfortable. We're not throwing the body any curveballs. We're not messing up the technique we've practiced. We're not changing how we've practiced repertoire in the past. We're just bridging these two things together, our old position and our new position a little at a time. And then maybe in a third month, we get to the final position and here we are and everything is lined up the correct way. In the meantime, all of these little shifts will have helped you build the muscle strength in your shoulders and your back to allow the arms to be out like this for a more extended amount of time, however long your practice time is, 30 minutes, an hour, longer. So remember, don't try to jump from the current position all the way back if it's a long distance. Just take it one step at a time and let each of those steps become normal and feel natural before you move on to the next step. I hope you found this video helpful and insightful today. If you did, please leave a comment below, give this video a thumbs up, consider subscribing to the channel, ding the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Remember, practice smarter, not harder, and I'll see you next time you visit Pianist Academy.